love is, 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 love Love not new this, love is now this, love is true, and it is as it ever will be. I've never ever ever met any group of people without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt, yes, in the world, I think. Some of them are lucky. I never knew it was possible to be so happy. Uh, this is very good. How many minutes there are left? This is very good. How long is left now? Because to really to meet people who are really lovers of the truth and who are genuinely happy, you know? not demonstrating happiness, but just genuinely happy and you know finding peace in themselves, and are not trying to you know um, advertise themselves. This is something very, very beautiful. Isn't it? Because in times in my life, sometimes you meet people amongst the the crowd of beings you see in the world, and so on. And you just meet someone who is special, you know. Who, you know, you just feel that they have something, something that's inexplicable, but something inside you is drawn to that. And it could just be a lightness. It could just be something that is so light. And what I, I discovered after years that what it was was that they were they were empty. You know. Not empty-headed, uh, not, but they were just uh, empty and very flexible. The people that you will be drawn to mostly are people who don't have a lot of strong opinions and whose love is not costly. You know, this is the most, this is the best meeting. When you meet a human being like that, you, it doesn't matter what your background, you start to feel even the presence of God, even if you're an atheist. You know, if you kind of feel. Either they feel sometimes very uncomfortable, like, whoa, it's like, what, what is that? You know? <laughs> sometimes people have a reaction. They're kind of, whoa, like, that's not supposed to be. <laughs> you see, when people often come to the land for the first time mm. and they're hugs, they're a bit, mm. they're uncomfortable, yeah. but then by the end they Yeah, they, they, care. they kind of jelly out. And <laughs> <laughs> and that, it's very beautiful to see that. That you cannot get into someone's heart, someone's heart, by force, you know, by frightening them or you know, yeah, you know, and judgments. And it's uh, in these matters the world learned very slowly. Technologically, we run very fast, but in matters of the heart, we're very slow, very slow. You know? To to understand really the that we don't we don't run on force, we run on love. You know, that, you know we function on, on love. <laughs> not, not, not on force and duty and uh, yes, you kind of there's energy there, but it's it's a very disturbing energy. But uh, when people feel fulfilled and uh, feel you know really, you have to meet, you know, to meet people. You, you, people. We have to meet each other, and we need each other because without that, you don't get the chance to get what you need to see reflected to you. We need we need each other in that way. And sometimes the people who need each other most, who have the best reflections, they are at war with each other. They fight a lot. It's almost like there's something inside. They say, "Whatever, I'm not going to let you meet because you're so close underneath. <laughs> you are so close underneath. I can't let you see, or you're underneath." So find differences and find differences and fight about trivial differences. That can take a long time before you clear and so I say, but wait a minute, is that what we've been killing each other for? I took your son's life for that. Mm. So, yeah. If there are people who follow my way, they have to be recognized also through love. You know? If people know them, they say, Oh, you know. Like when you see, if you meet uh, the, if you could meet the disciples of Ramakrishna, 
you would know them. They just have a Ramakrishna-ness about them. You understand? There's something kind of majestic. And yet many of them were from very, very poor background. Very, very poor. But they grew in stature because they they were absorbed in the Master's grace. So after he left his body, he just sort of like, he just pervaded them, his presence and stuff like this. You know? Sometimes I have days where, it doesn't happen so much anymore, but for a while I would look at someone and I'd see you, like for a bit, and then I would look again and you were, it wasn't you. Like I'd see your physical form. Like, yeah, I feel that uh, the, the, those who really met their masters, you know, they they exude that perfume, even if they don't speak. They carry something. Something. Uh, it's not something you can naturally point to exactly, but they carry a sort of a spiritual fragrance you know, that that, uh, that invoke in you the re- recognition of that. This is a, the mystical side of life that we you have to somehow evolve to be able to be sensitive enough to perceive life at that subtle level. Mostly we are too much in the in the brutal mind. Brutal mind means just uh, thinking of uh, nonsense things, you know. What you want to eat for dinner, where you're going to go, what football match you want to see. And this is kind of called brutal mind. It means you know, a bit senseless. But it's also, it's also consciousness functioning. You know, we have to can function on so many different levels. But when it begins to function on the level where love is the climate of your presence, and the joy and peace and wisdom, then you're in the you're in the realm of God. And to see that on the earth is not easy actually, because it's a difficult planet, I think. You know, it's more easy to go towards the senses and to go towards the selfishness in the mind. This form carries a lot of. Let's say, it carries something that you know, the consciousness in this form has tremendous capacity, but it tends to be inclined towards just kind of fleshly, um, fleshly sort of concerns or something. And uh, and if you go to the senses, that's a whole kingdom by itself. You know, and then you go through imagination. Oh, it's another big kingdom. The past, whoa, big kingdom, all illusory in a way. So to come out of that and to begin to experience some uh, that that inner stillness and joy, and to feel the love which is encompassing all beings, without any any favorites or distinctions. You know, favorites only in the sense that you enjoy more those whose whose minds are immersed in the in the truth or in God, they are the company that will you will enjoy. And that Sangha is worldwide. They're not any particular uh, denomination. They're just that they are people who are like that. They just have a love for truth or they're just drawn. They may not they may not show that they have any background, but they just have that in them. You see? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They're loving you this, they're loving me this Love is not bound this, love is free this Love is all in all I see And it is as it ever will be I'm letting go of what I thought I knew I'm moving on, I'm breaking through My prison cell, my private hell These walls of fear of falling I can't defend, I can't pretend Can't deny or resist this calling I never knew a love like this forever true Still this love exists This love is mine, this love is yours This love is whole, this love is sure This love is one, this love is pure Light that forever shines